We can't do anything else. This is our only option. I apologize for the high penalty fees related to the advertisement and film. Hey there, we have some heartbreaking news to share. You know Lee Sun Kyun, right? The South Korean actor who gained international fame for his role in the Oscar-winning film Parasite. Tragically, he's passed away. This shocking event occurred amid an ongoing investigation into allegations of his illegal drug use. It's a truly sad situation. Lee was actually found lifeless in a car, right there in a park in the heart of Seoul. It's just so shocking. It's such a devastating turn of events. You know what's heartbreaking? His wife had to report him missing to the police. She discovered what looked like a suicide note at home. At least that's what Yonhap, the South Korean news agency, is saying. And the police? They're saying it looks like the cause of death might be suicide. Really tragic stuff, isn't it? But hold on. There's another theory floating around, too. Some folks are suggesting that it was actually his manager who first realized that no one could get a hold of Lee Sun Kyun. So, you know, there's been this whole thing where the police have been looking into whether Lee has been using marijuana and other sorts of mind-altering substances. The cops in Incheon have actually had him in for a chat three times since October, trying to figure out if there's any truth to these drug use claims. The one from the Incheon police's investigation. Well, so far, all of his drug tests have turned up nothing. They're all clean, according to the cops. They didn't mention exactly how many tests he's had to go through, though. So here's what happened. He's saying he was duped into doing drugs by a lady who works at a bar. Then, believe it or not, she has the audacity to try and blackmail him. So this guy Lee, he doesn't take that lying down. He decides to sue her and brings it all to court. Funny thing is, the police tell us they got wind of him supposedly taking drugs even before he filed the suit. Crazy, huh? So here's the scoop. There's a guy and a gal who've been nabbed because of this whole drug investigation mess, according to the cops. Now get this. On the day after Christmas in 2023, the guy goes through his legal team and asks the police to run a lie detector test on himself and the other two folks they'd picked up. Quite a story, isn't it? Did you know that South Korea doesn't mess around when it comes to drug laws? If someone gets caught up in drug-related crimes, they're looking at a minimum of six months behind bars. And for those who just can't seem to learn their lesson, or those dealing drugs, well, they could be in for a long haul of up to 14 years in prison. It's no joke over there. You know, back in late October, he had a quick chat with the press before he walked into the Incheon police station. He was heading in to have a sit-down with the investigators. I sincerely apologize for causing great disappointment to many people by being involved in such an unpleasant incident. He said at the time, adding, I feel sorry for my family, which is enduring such difficult pain at this moment. Let me tell you about some of the lesser known tales that have come to light since we lost Lee Sun Kyun. This includes a glimpse at his last captured moments and the reasons that led to his untimely departure, and a look at the family he's left behind to remember him. Way back, when the word was going around that someone from the movie Parasite was under investigation for drug abuse, many started to speculate that it might be Lee Sun Kyun. His company has since addressed the situation, saying, Firstly, we'd like to express our apologies for the concern caused by the reports regarding actor Lee Sun Kyun, a talent from our company. We are currently in the process of confirming the exact facts related to the allegations being raised against actor Lee Sun Kyun. We pledge to fully cooperate with any investigations by the relevant authorities. Let's chat about this drama with Korean netizens reacting to a recent statement from an agency. It seems like the agency is trying to paint an actor as a victim. Can you believe it? He was caught up in drug scandals and there were even blackmail allegations. It was really surprising, especially because he was in some great dramas. It was disappointing, and it confirms that he really did use drugs. As a result, he chose to quit an upcoming thriller drama called No Way Out. The drama had just begun production when news of his drug use surfaced. And guess what? He and another actor, John Hai Jin, were previously chosen to endorse a kid and family-friendly educational service by SK Telecom. As soon as this news went public, SK Telecom acted swiftly. They removed all endorsement materials featuring these two from their official YouTube channel. Now there's more. Apparently, the Drug Crime Investigation Unit of the Incheon Metropolitan Police is on the case. Did you know that Lee's wife, John Hai Jin, had stepped back from her acting career to focus on their kids? But as the kids grew up, she started to ease back into the acting world. But then, bam. The drug scandal hit, and it's been pretty tough for Joan just when she was making her comeback. There were concerns about how this could affect her professional comeback. After the news broke, she quickly decided to send their younger son abroad to join his elder brother. TV Chosen was the first to break the news around 11 a.m. KST on December 27th. Just about 13 minutes before the official news hit, 
Some anonymous user dropped a bombshell on this online forum, MLB Park. Yep, right around 10.47 a.m. KST, this person casually mentions that actor Lee Sun Kyun had passed away. Can you imagine stumbling upon that? When this post just popped up out of the blue, folks online were pretty suspicious and found it hard to believe. They even had a go at the person who posted it, accusing them of spreading nasty rumors about the actor. So get this. When the official news finally hit, and it turned out the post was actually on the money about Lee Sun Kyun's passing, everyone was like, how in the world did the original poster know before the media even got wind of it? A lot of people started guessing that maybe the person who posted it first works for the police or fire department or something. You know what they're saying in the Korean press? They're all saying that Lee Sun Kyun's wife, John Hai Jin, might be the one who placed the call. But there are whispers that it was actually his manager who first realized they couldn't reach Lee. Interesting, isn't it? And did you hear about his neighbors? A few of them saw him around, and they said he seemed pretty downcast in the days leading up to whatever happened. I saw Lee in the elevator a few days back and said hello. He seemed really down. I bumped into him recently in the elevator and greeted him too. Living in the same building, I was shocked to hear the news. Since it's a sensitive matter, everyone in the building is keeping quiet. This isn't something for outsiders to get involved in. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Did you know that Lee kickstarted his acting career in 2001 with a sitcom called Lovers? Yeah, he studied at the Korea National University of Arts in South Korea, one of their top schools. Over the years, he's been amazing in a bunch of different roles. But you know what really put him on the global map? His role in the 2019 Oscar-winning film Parasite by Bong Joon-ho. He was absolutely brilliant as the rich, superficial dad. It's what he's most recognized for worldwide. Sun Kyun, a native of Seoul, South Korea, was born way back on March 2nd, 1975. He was a guy who loved the theater and spent years dedicated to musicals. But when it came to films, he was always stuck playing the second fiddle, only getting to be the star in one-act dramas. Fast forward to 2007, his big break finally came with Coffee Prince. But here's the thing, he wasn't always sure about his career. During one interview, he shared his concerns. I'm about to hit 40. I've got a family to look after. I didn't get into acting for the money or fame, but lately I've been feeling drained, self-conscious, and wondering why I even started acting. However, all his doubts faded away in 2019, when he got a role in the Oscar-winning Parasite. He even bagged a Screen Actors Guild Award alongside his co-stars for their stellar performance. Quite the journey for Lee Sun Kyun, right? When it comes to his personal life, He's happily married to his longtime sweetheart, who's also in the acting world, an actress named John Hai Jin. They had a solid relationship for seven years before saying their I do's on the 23rd of May, 2009. And they're now proud parents of two wonderful kids. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications when new content is posted. And as always, don't forget to take time to exhale.